In today's how-to, I'm going to show you how to put letters on banners. If you want to do a Pacific letter, please look in the description where there will be a timestamp for each letter. And this is going to be a very, very, very easy, simple how-to. Thanks for choosing it. To make the letter A, you're going to need one banner, 12 die in the colour that you want your A to be, and then if you want a border around the edge, you're going to need 8 die the colour of the banner. Into the crafting bench, you place the banner in the middle centre square, and then above it, going across, you place 3 die. Then you put that back into the top middle square of your crafting bench and you place three die in the middle row going across. Then you place that back into the middle square and then down one side you place three die. Put that back into the middle of the crafting bench and then on the other side you place the remaining three die and that will give you your A. If you want to make a board around it then you will need to put it in the middle square of your crafting bench and surround it with the eight die of the banner. And that will give you A. To make the letter B, you're going to need a crafting bench, a banner, 15 die in the color that you want your B to be in. And if you want to do it with the border, you're going to need eight die of the colour of your banner. Into the crafting bench, you place the banner in the middle square, and then above it, you place three die going across. You put that back into the centre of the crafting bench, and then you put three die in the bottom row going across. Then you place that in the top middle square, and you put three in the centre of the crafting bench going across. And you put that into the middle of your crafting bench and then to one side you put three going down in a line and then you put that back into the middle of the crafting bench and put the three remaining die on the other side going down. Then you have your B and if you want to make it with the border you put it in the centre of the crafting bench and surround it with your eight die of your banner. And that will give you your banner B and the B without. To make the letter C, we'll need a crafting bench, one banner, nine die of the color of the letter you want it to be. And if you want to do it with a border, you'll need eight die of the colour of the banner. Into the crafting bench, you put your banner into the centre square, and then you place three die above it going across. Then you place that back into the middle of the crafting bench and put three at the bottom row going across. You place that back into the centre of the crafting bench and then to the left hand side, you place three going down and that will give you your C. If you want it with the border, place it into the center of your crafting bench and surround it with eight die the color of the banner. And that will give you the one with the border on it and there you will have your C. To make the letter D, you're going to need a crafting bench, one banner, 12 die in the colour that you want your letter to be in, one die of the colour of the banner, one vine, and if you're going to do it with a border, you'll need an additional eight die of the colour of the banner. So if you're doing it that one, you'll need nine in total. Into the crafting bench, you put your banner into the middle square, and then above it, across the top, you put three die. You put that back into the center square and then to the right hand side going down, you put three die. 
You then put it back into the middle of the crafting bench and put three die going across the bottom. And then you put it back into the middle square and right underneath it you put the vine and to the right on the bottom you put the die of the banner. Then you place that back into the middle of the crafting bench and then you put the remaining three die on the left hand side going down and that gives you your D. If you want to make it with the border you pop it back into the middle of the crafting bench and you surround it with eight die of the banner. And there you have your D with border and the D out. To make the letter E, you're going to need a crafting bench, one banner, 12 die in the colour that you want your letter to be in. And if you are doing a border around it, you'll need 8 die in the colour of the banner. Into the crafting bench, you put your banner into the middle square and then above it, going all the way across, you place three die. Then you put that banner back into the centre of the crafting bench and underneath on the bottom row, you place a three die going across. Then you place that in the top middle square of the crafting bench and you place three die going across in the centre line of the crafting bench. You pop that back into the middle of the crafting bench and then on the left hand side going down you place three die and that will give you your E. And if you want to make it with a border you put it in the middle of the crafting bench and you surround it with eight die of the colour of the banner. And that will give you your E with the border and there you have your E without. To make the letter F on a banner, you're going to need a crafted bench, one banner, nine die in the colour that you want your F to be. And if you want to do the banner with the border, you'll need an additional eight die of the colour of the banner. Into the crafting bench, you put the banner in the middle square, and then above it, across the top, you put three die. Then you put that in the middle of the crafting bench and on the left hand side going down you put three dies. Then you put that banner in the top middle square of your crafting bench and in the middle row you put the three die going across and that will give you your F. Now if you want to make a board around the edge you put it in the middle square and surround it with the die of the banner. And that will give you your F. To make the letter G, you're going to need a crafting bench, a banner, 12 die of the colour you want your G to be, 6 die of the banner, and if you're putting a border, you'll need an additional 8, which means you'll need 14 altogether. Into the crafting bench, you put your banner into the middle square and then with the die of the colour of the letter, you put three of them down the right hand side of the crafting bench. You put that in the bottom middle square of your crafting bench and then above it, you put the six die of the banners. So you put three across the top and three ac across the middle. Then you place that into the centre of the crafting bench and you put three of the die along the bottom and you put that back into the centre of the crafting bench and then to the left hand side you put three die down. Then you put that back into the centre of the crafting bench and across the top you put the remaining three and this will give you your G. Now if you want to make it with a border you pop it into the centre of the crafting bench and surround it with your eight remaining die. And that gives you the letter G. To make a H, you're going to need one banner, nine die in the colour that you want your H to be. And if you're putting a board around it, you'll also need eight die of the colour of the banner. And into the crafting bench, you put your banner 
in the top middle square and in the middle row across you put three die. Then you put that one into the middle of the crafting bench and on the left hand side you put three die going down. You put that back into the centre of the crafting bench and to the right hand side going down you put the three die. That will give you your H. If you want to make it with the border, you put it into the centre of the crafting bench and you surround it with eight die of the colour of your banner. And that will give you your H. To make the letter I, you're going to need a crafting bench, one banner, nine die of the colour that you want your eye to be and if you're doing the version with the border you'll need eight die of the colour of the banner. Into the crafting bench you place the banner into the middle square on the left hand side and then you place three die in the centre going down so you get a stripe in the middle of your banner. Then you place that banner into the middle of the crafting bench and above it across the top you place three die then you put it back into the middle of the crafting bench and play, put the three die remaining at the bottom and that will give you your eye. If you want to make it with the border you put it into the middle of the crafting bench and surround it with eight die of the colour of the banner. That's how you get your eye. To make the letter J, you're going to need a crafting bench, a banner, 12 die in the colour that you want your J to be in, 6 die of the colour of the banner, and if you're doing it with a border, you'll need an additional 8, which will mean you'll need 14. Into the crafting bench, you put the banner into the middle square of the crafting bench, and to the left hand side going down, you place 3 die of the colour you want your letter to be. And you place that in the middle square at the bottom row of your crafting bench and above it fill in the top and the middle row going across you place your six die of the color of the banner then you put that in the middle square of your crafting bench and underneath it you place three die then you put it back into the middle of the crafting bench and down the right hand side going all the way down you place three die and then you put it back into the crafting bench and then across the top row you place three die and that gives you your J. If you want a border around your banner then put it into the middle of the crafting bench and surround it with eight die of the colour of the banner and that gives you J. To make the letter K, you'll need a crafty bench, a banner, nine die in the colour you want your letter to be, and if you're doing the K with a board around it, you'll need eight die of the colour of your banner. Into the crafting bench, you place the banner into the middle square, and then you put three die down the left hand side, making a stripe. You then put that in the bottom middle square, and then you put three die going diagonally across and I've gone from the bottom left to the top right and you put it back in and then you go the other way so you go diagonally from the top left to the bottom right and that will make you your K if you want to make it with a border around it you place it into the middle of the crafting bench surround it with eight die of the colour of the banner and that gives you a K with a border. To make the letter L, you'll need a banner, a crafting bench, six die in the colour that you want your L to be. And if you're doing it with a border around it, you'll need eight die of the colour of your banner. Into the crafting bench in the middle square, you place your banner. And to the left hand side going down you place three die then you put that banner into the middle of the crafting bench on the bottom line going across you place three die 
and that gives you your L. If you want to make it with a board around it, place it in the middle of the crafting bench, surround it with eight die of your banner, and that gives you your L with a border. To make the letter M, you're going to need a crafting bench, a banner, nine die in the colour you want your M to be, and then you'll need three die of the banner colour, and if you're doing it with a border around it, you'll need eight, which means in total you will need 11. To the crafting bench, you put your banner in the bottom middle square, and then directly above it, you place one that die, and then in one top right hand corner and one top left hand corner you place a free die of the colour you want your letter to be. Then you put that back into the crafting bench in the middle of the bottom square and then you get the free die of the banner colour and you place one in the top middle row and then in the middle right hand side and the middle left hand side so you get like a little heart. Then you place that in the middle of the crafting bench and on one side, I'm doing the right first but it doesn't matter which side you do first, you place three die and then whatever side you didn't do, you place the remaining three die. And that gives you your M. If you want to put a border around it, put it in the middle of the centre of the crafting bench and surround it by eight die of the colour of the banner. And there you have your M. To make the letter N, you're going to need a crafting bench, a banner, nine die in the colour that you want your N to be, and then if you're doing the version that has the board around the edge, you'll need eight of the die of the colour of the banner. Into the crafting bench, you put your banner into the middle square, and then on the left hand side going down, you place three die. You then put the banner back into the crafting bench in the middle square at the bottom row and then go in diagonally from the top left to the bottom right you put three die. Then you put that back into the crafting bench into the middle square and then on the right hand side going down you place three die and that will give you your N. You want to put a border around it, put it in the middle of the centre of the crafting bench and surround it with eight die from the banner colour and that will give you your N with a border. To make the letter O you'll need a crafting bench, a banner, 12 die in the colour you want your O to be in and if you're doing the one with the border around it you will need 8 die of the colour of the banner. To the crafting bench you put your banner into the middle square and then above it on the top line you put three die going across. And you put that back into the middle of the crafting bench, the bottom line going across you put three die. And you put that into the crafting bench and on the right hand side going down you place three die. You put that back into the crafting bench in the middle square and on the left hand side you place three die going down and that will give you your O. If you want to put a border around it, you place it into the middle of the crafting bench and surround it with eight die from the colour of the banner. And there you have your O. To make the letter P, you're going to need a crafting bench, a banner, 12 die in the colour that you want your letter P to be in, and 6 die of the banner colour. If you're doing the banner with the border around it, you'll also need 8, which means you'll need a total of 14 banner die. And into the crafting bench, you place your banner into the middle square, and then above it, using the dies that you want the letter to be, you place three across the top line. You put that back into the middle of the crafting bench and you put the die of the letter down on the right hand side. 
then you put that in the top middle square and then using the six die of the banner color you place three in the middle row and three at the bottom so use all your six up then you place that into the top middle box of your crafting bench and then you place three die in the middle row going across put that back into the center of your crafting bench and then on the left hand side going down you place your three remaining die and that will give you your letter p if you want to put a border around it place it into the center of the crafting bench and surround it with the eight die of the banner and that will give you your p with a border To do the letter Q, you're going to need a banner in the colour that you want your Q to be in and seven of that die. And because we're working with blue and lime, we've got four of the lapis. And if you want to put border around it, you'll need eight, which means you'll need 12 in total. So in the middle of the crafting bench, you put the banner and then above and below you put two of the four die that you want your uh, center of the queue to be and that makes the little heart in the middle so it's like a diamond shaped and you put that back into the middle of the crafting bench and three of the die that you're using in our case it's lime you place the three die to one side all the way down and then whatever side you did first, you do the opposite so that we do it on our right side now. And that gives us our round center for our cue. And then to do the little mark in the middle, you put it back in the center of the crafting bench and to the bottom right hand side, you place the die you're using. And that gives you your cue. If you want to make it with a border, put it into the center of the crafting bench and surround it with the die that you want your border to be. And there you have your cue. There are two ways of doing an R. I can't get the dot to work with the border around. So that's the R with the border. And that's the R with the dot in the middle without the border. So I'll show you the two ways of doing it. Well, first we'll do this one and you'll need a banner in the color that you want your R to be, 12 of that die, and because we're working with blue, we've got 12 lapis as well, and a crafting bench. And into the crafting bench, you put the banner in the top middle square, and then you put six of the dark blue in our case, uh, across the middle and across the bottom row. Then you pop that back into the crafting bench, into the middle, of the top square and then in the color that you want your letter to be in our case it's lime you put three of the pieces going diagonally from the top left to the bottom right then you put that in the right hand corner at the top of the crafting bench and to the side going down you place the lapis in our case because we're working with blue so you've got the middle going down and to the left hand side going down then you pop that back into the crafting bench and you put it into the middle square and then to the left hand side going down you place three of the die you put that back into the crafting bench and into the middle square and then above it going across the top you place three die then you put that in the top middle square and in the middle row going across you place your last three dies and that will give you your R with a dot. To do the R without a dot you place your banner in the, just try to think now, in the bottom middle square, is that right? Then you place it into the middle square again and to the left hand side you go down and then to do the line across you place it in the middle top square and then you go diagonally so you go from the top left to the bottom right and that gives you your, your R without a dot. Oh we didn't put the banner around, we didn't put the edge around it did we? <laughs> Uh, you want a border on it? 
pop it in the middle of the crafting bench and surround it with lapis I'm not doing this again I've done this letter so many times that gives you the one with the border that's three different ways of doing an R To make the letter S, you're going to need a crafting bench, banner, nine die in the colour that you want your S to be, five die of the colour of the banner, one vine, and if you're doing a border around it, which is this one with the border, you're going to need eight die of the colour of the banner, which means you'll need 13 of that colour die. Into the crafting bench you put your banner into the middle square and then above it, all the way across, you put three of the die that you want your S to be in. Then you put that back into the middle of the crafting bench again and put three along the bottom line. Then you put that in the middle again and then you take four of the die of the banner and you put one above and a below it and then in the middle line either side you put the other two. Then you put that back in the top middle square of your crafting bench and with the three die left of the colour you want your S to be you put one below in the middle square and one in the left hand top corner and one in the bottom so you make a diagonal line and that will give you your S but to make it look better you put it back in the crafting bench in the middle and then you put the vine underneath it in the middle square and then the last colour of the banner to the left hand side of it and then that gives you your curly bits at the edge so you can have that as an s as it is but if you wish to make it with the border put it in the middle of the crafting bench surround it with eight die of the banner and then you'll have your s with the border so this is the one with the border around it and this is the one with the curly bits around the edge that's how you make an s To make the letter T, you're going to need a crafting bench, a banner, six die in the colour that you want your T to be in. If you want to do it with the border around it, you'll need eight die of the colour of the banner. Into the crafting bench, you place your banner to the middle square on the left hand side, and then you put three die going horizontal down the middle of the crafting bench, and that gives you your stripe in the middle of your banner. You then put that in the middle square of the crafting bench and on the top row across you place three die and that gives you your line across the top and that gives you your T. Now if you want to put a banner around it, you pop it in the middle of the crafting bench and you surround it with eight die of your banner and that will give you your T with the border. To make the letter U, you're going to need a crafting bench, a banner, nine die in the colour that you want your U to be in, and if you want it with the border around it, you'll need eight die of the colour of the banner. Into the crafting bench, you put your banner into the middle square, and along the bottom row, you put three of your die going across. Then you put that back into the centre of the crafting bench, and onto one side, I'm doing the left, Horizontally you put three dies. You could do it on the right first if you want to, as long as when you put it back into the middle crafting bench, you do the opposite side. So I'm doing the right side here horizontally at the end. And that will give you your U. Now if you want to put a board around it, put it in the middle square of the crafting bench, surround it with eight die of the colour of the banner, and that will give you your U with a border. To make the letter V, you're going to need a crafting bench, a banner, three die in the colour of that banner, and if you want to do the V with the border, you'll need an additional eight, which means you'll need a total of 11, and then six die in the colour that you want your V to be in. And then you placed your banner into the middle of the crafting bench, and then horizontally on the left hand side, you place three die in the 
colour that you want your V to be in. Then you place that back into the crafting bench on the top middle square and then three die of the banner, you put one directly underneath it, one in the bottom left hand corner of the crafting square and one in the bottom right hand corner. Then you put that in the top of the middle of the crafting bench square and then you put the die that you've got your V in, one directly underneath it, one in the top right hand corner of the square and one in the bottom left hand corner and that will give you your V. If you want to make it with a border you put it into the middle of the crafting bench and you surround it with eight die of the colour of the banner and that will give you your V with a border. To make the letter W you'll need a crafting bench, a banner, three die of the colour of the banner plus eight if you want to do it with a border which means you'll need 11, nine die in the colour that you want your W to be in and then into the crafting bench you put your banner into the bottom middle square and then above it you put the die that you want your letter to be in, I'm doing lime green, so you put one above and then on the bottom line on the right you put one and on the bottom left you put one. Then you put that back into the middle of the centre of the crafting bench and then with the die of the banner you put one directly below it and then one either side. Then you put that back into the middle of the crafting bench and then down one side horizontally, I'm doing the left first but you could do the right if you wanted to, you put your three die then you put that back into the middle of the crafting bench and then whichever side you didn't do, you do the opposite one. So I'm doing the right hand side. That will give you your W. And if you want to make it with a border, put it in the middle of the crafting bench, surround it by die, and you get your one with a border on it. And that's how you do a W. To make an X you'll need a crafting bench, a banner, six die in the colour you want your X to be and if you're doing the one with a border around it you'll need eight dies in the colour of the banner. Into the crafting bench you put your banner on the right hand side in the middle square and then into the middle of the crafting bench you put one die and then diagonally top left hand corner you place one and bottom right hand corner. Then you put that into your crafting bench, back into the middle square on the right hand side and then you put one die into the middle and then at the top right hand and the bottom left you place your other two dies and that will give you your X onto the banner. If you want to put a border around it, place it into the middle of the crafting bench, surround it with eight die of the colour of your banner and that will give you your X. To make the letter Y you're going to need a banner, a crafting bench, six colour die in the colour of that banner and if you're doing a border you'll need an additional eight and then you need six die of the colour you want your Y to be. Into the crafting bench you put your banner on the left hand middle square and then in the centre square you place the die the colour you want your Y to be and then above you place another one in the top left hand corner, in the bottom right hand corner you place another one so you get a diagonal line going across. Then you place that in the middle top square and then underneath it you place the six die the colour of the banner so you've got three in the middle row and three going across the bottom row. Then you put that in the right hand middle square of the crafting bench and your three die you've got left of the colour that you want your Y to be, you make a diagonal line. So you put one in the middle, one at the top right square and one in the bottom left square and that will give you your Y and if you want to put a board around it, put it in the middle of your crafting bench and surround it with eight die the colour of your banner and there you have your Y. To make the letter Z you're going to need a crafting bench, nine die in the colour that you want your Z to be in, 
Now if you're doing one with a border, you'll need eight dye of the color of your banner. Into the crafting bench, you put your banner into the middle square, and then above it, you put three dye across the top row. And you put that banner into the middle of the crafting bench on the bottom row, you put three dye going across. And you put your banner into the middle top center square and underneath it you put one of the dies and then you do a diagonal line so you put one at the top and right and one at the bottom left and if you want to put the border around your banner put it into the middle of the crafting bench surround it with eight die of your banner and there you have said